Hi guys, it's Marianne, the frugal chef. Here is make a raspberry mousse. Um, you know, the beauty of this is you can use fresh or frozen fruit, so you can make it any time of the year. It's very, very nice, not overbearingly sweet. I mean, it's just a perfect dessert. It's great for any time, any time you want, but what a nice thing for Valentine's Day. The first thing we're gonna do for our mousse is beat our heavy cream. This is really cold cream. I put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes and then put it in the refrigerator. It's cold. We're gonna beat this until it starts getting stiff and we're gonna add uh, confectioner sugar to it. is starting to stiffen. I'm gonna start adding some confectioner sugar to this. I think I'm gonna add about half a cup. I'm gonna do it to taste. I'll start with about, that's about a half a cup. Then I'll see if I add more. Yeah, that's perfect. That half cup was enough. Uh, you taste it and see if you want it a little uh, sweeter. You don't want this to be super sweet. It has to have a little tartness from the raspberry. Okay, that's ready. I'm going to put it in the fridge and keep it cold. Let's work on our raspberries. So in this pot, I have two cups of uh, thawed frozen raspberries, a half a cup of sugar, and a tablespoon of lemon juice. Now all I want to do is melt that sugar so that we have kind of a syrup. So I'm just gonna stir it for a little while until this is ready and then we will continue. Go ahead and press those raspberries against your pot and kind of puree them. We're going to strain this to get rid of the seeds but we want uh, as much fruit as we can. Okay, I'm now gonna turn off the heat. This came to a, a little boil here, the sugar's melted. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm now going to pass these raspberries through this sieve into this metal bowl. Make sure you mash that fruit against that sieve. You want to get absolutely everything that you can except for the seeds. We want a nice silky mousse with no seeds in it. I'm now going to put this bowl into another bowl of ice water. I'm going to add a tablespoon of unflavored gelatin to this and I'm going to mix it in over the cold water here. I'm actually going to use a whisk for this. ready. See how this is a little thicker, almost like a thick sauce. So we're going to let this cool down completely in the ice water. I'm going to start to fold the whipped cream into this now, but I'm going to work over my ice water. I do not want my cream to melt. This is cold now, but I just, you know, the colder these things are, the better for our result. So I'm going to start putting some cream in there and folding it very carefully.
And there you go. This is so beautiful. I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to fill eight of these little glasses with this. And then I'm going to put the leftover in some ramekins. I have some people over uh, tomorrow. And I just want them to have, you know, I just, I don't know. I think it's cute. But you can go ahead and put this into ramekins. Six, you know, six uh, would be nice and full or you can put it in martini glasses or wine glasses whatever you want so this is everything I got I told you six of these ramekins no more like eight okay I'm going to wrap these in plastic I just cover them in plastic and put them in the refrigerator and we'll finish them tomorrow guys I've been licking the spatula mm, you know this is good stuff I'll see you tomorrow Let's finish up our mousse. I put three raspberries, fresh raspberries, in each little glass. And now I'm going to just grate some chocolate on top of that. I'm just going to grab my microplane and I'm going to grate some dark chocolate, a little bit, on top of each glass. Like that. That's plenty. Oh, this is so yummy. Bon appetit, my friend, from thefrugalchef.com. Eat well without going broke, my friends. Come and see the website. We have all kinds of recipes that are not in video form. If you would rate and comment on this video, you'll make me super happy. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon.